Dr. John O'Brien. I am the Director of Maternal Fetal Medicine at the University of Kentucky. So there's a variety of complications that occur in, in pregnancy, and some of those complications um, are well known if babies come very early and there's preterm births with uh, deliveries happening of those small one, two pound babies that we see on television or in our NICUs downstairs. Uh, we focus on trying to improve those outcomes as much as possible. We can't always prevent those outcomes, but we try to improve uh, the situation for mom and baby as best as possible. We also work with babies that have birth defects and help coordinate their care with all the subspecialists here at uh, UK, uh, providing the best opportunity for, for their early correction and improving their long-term outcomes. We try to figure out why things are the way they are and what is the underlying complication that's leading to the observations that we see. It's not just about recognizing that something is a problem, but trying to get to the root cause of that problem. I think patients want to know that we're bringing uh, a team uh, together to try to improve their outcomes, especially for their children. They want to know that the Kentucky Children's Hospital and neonatology and pediatric surgeons and everyone is on the same page trying to optimize the outcome for their little one. So the research that we do is aimed at some of those fundamental questions as to why those pregnancy complications happen. And so we like to look at mechanisms for how some of our treatments work. Uh, one of the treatments, for instance, uh, uh, that we're currently working on is, is low-dose aspirin to prevent a complication of pregnancy called preeclampsia. So we do research and look at different markers and different changes in the body that are occurring that uh, can give us a glimpse as to how that medicine is working and who we should best provide that medicine uh, for to prevent pregnancy outcomes. I was very interested in the smallest people and the earliest amongst us to try to help improve their outcomes just because I believe those are the most vulnerable people that uh, we can take care of. Hoping that uh, just like I was inspired by my teachers at a young age, I can help uh, inspire uh, the next generation of physicians and see if we can uh, motivate them to carry the baton and, and make even greater and grander advances in medicine and the care of complicated pregnancies. Thank you.